A new computerized tomography equipment is expected to arrive this weekend for Social State Enterprise Departmental Hospital. We are connected at this time with Alice Medina, who gives us all the information about this new equipment. Good evening, Lisa and Aldi TV viewers who they connect with us right now in Atele Islas News. I say hello from here, from outside of the Secretary of Health, because we talk to the head of this portfolio, Julian Davis, to talk about the new CT scanner that went come to the department this end of the week. We come to see what was the process we then can get this new machine when help the hospital, departmental hospital in our islands. The process of acquiring a new CT scan was due to the fact that we have a deficiency in the diagnostic capacity of the patients in the hospital. Therefore, we have not had a renewal of the CT scan for many years since the CT that is currently working is an 8 slice CT that is available in the hospital and since we've assumed the administration, it was planned to acquire, among other elements and equipment, a new CT scan. The Secretary of Tourism announced the arrival of a new cruise ship during the month of February. Thanks to the tourism promotion effort made by the departmental government, San Andreas will receive a new cruise ship on February 25th. Hemos logrado participar en diferentes ferias como... We have managed to participate in several fairs such as Miami Free, where we were able to participate and raise awareness of many of the cruise agencies. So we received the first cruise, which will repeat next February the 18th. And we have a new one that has just confirmed this morning. It is the Sea Voyager a small cruise ship that will also arrive at our department on the 25th of this month. So far, that we have in terms of tourism through tourist ships. The Secretary of Tourism, Jonathan Tiela, described as positive for the economy of the archipelago the reactivation of the arrival of cruise ship to the department. Eh, bueno, sin duda alguna, eh... Without a doubt, there are tourists that come with a certain profile that come not to exploit all the resources of the department, but to learn about the gastronomic and cultural richness of the department, which undoubtedly helps a lot to the tourism providers. Two cruise ships are expected to arrive throughout the month of February. The local government is working on the logistics to welcome international tourism. And in order to continue reducing the rates of cigarette and liquor smuggling, the departmental government reactivated its anti-smuggling program. The departmental government, through the Finance Secretariat, with the support of the Departmental Federation, signed the Act of Reactivation of the Anti-Smuggling Program, which seeks to detect illegal products such as alcohol and cigarettes. These officials will be conducting inspections of businesses engaged in these activities. An agreement was resigned with the operators who work with the Anti-Smuggling Program. Those activities we were developing in previous years we are going to continue with the program, the training and the publications of all those things. So we already have a staff that is working on that. The Secretariat of Finance reports that the first inspection of this 2022 was made to a warehouse with 25 boxes of cigarettes, which provided evidence of the legality of the product. In the coming days, different businesses located in the tourist sectors will be inspected by the anti-smuggling group. The Social State Enterprise announces total rejection of aggression against medical personnel following a very concerning event where a doctor of the compulsory social service in the hospital health center was hurt physically, verbally, and psychologically. With messages of support, the community has joined this rejection campaign against the aggression of health personnel on the island. This come after a doctor of the obligatory social service was assaulted by the relatives of a patient who died in the medical center facilities. The scientific assistant manager of the state social enterprise made a statement on the matter. Desde la S department. From the departmental state social enterprise, we want to send a vehement and forceful message rejecting any aggression against the medical mission. What is the medical mission? We consider the medical mission the sick, 
the wounded, the infrastructure of the hospital, and all the medical and health personnel, including ambulances and all the secondary staff that provides health services. That is what is considered as the medical mission, which aims to save lives. The event took place on February 9, when an elderly patient was hospitalized after having been in intensive care unit for COVID-19 in previous days. After the resuscitation maneuvers by the doctors on duty, the doctor went to the relative and informed them of the death and was verbally, psychologically, and physically assaulted, causing injuries on her face. Bueno, eh, la médico... The doctor is currently in a state of anxiety as a result of all this experience and suffered traumas, especially to her face. According to Palacio, reports of medical infraction were made to the Ministry of Health and the CRUE, and the assaulted doctor has already filled the respective complaints. And in other news, Banco Dos, which sought to benefit hundreds of agricultural producers and fishermen of our islands, has ended its public call for proposals. The Banco Dos public call for agricultural producer and artisanal fishermen and alliance between the departmental government and the Secretariat of Agriculture and Fisheries with a corporation for the sustainable management of forests, mass bosques, has closed. The Banco Dos initiative is a program of payment for environmental services that promote the conservation of fishery resources and the process of productive reforestation in the island territory. In total, the registered participants were San Andres, 396, and in Old Providence, 233. Desde la Secretaría de Agricultura y Pesca. Eh. From the Secretariat of Agriculture and Fisheries with Mas Bosque, we made an agreement where a call was made from January 28th to February 4th, where from the island of San Andres, 396 people were invited between associations and independent people, and likewise in Old Providence. We also developed the effort where locally 293 were convened. This is a call for payments for environmental services to strengthen the part of productive reforestation of the islands and the part of surveillance, monitoring, and control of fishermen and farmers in our ancestral territory. No follow the selection phase in which the departmental government invite all registered persons to close follow the process. Through the social network of Gobernación SAI, the list of select persons will be published by the official channel of the administration. And the community gave their opinion about bad odors generated in the downtown area by the overflowing sewage system. Complaint persists from tourism providers and residents about the bad odors generated by the overflowing of sewage system in the pedestrian area. I feel very horrible because this sewage system overflows every time it rains. It's a myriad of horrible smells. The algae smell very bad and this is combined with the wastewater, with the sewage, and every day the smell gets uglier. This is an oversight of the entity in charge and the government because this harms the tourism that comes to the island. The truth is that this has been going on for a long time. I don't know why the companies or whoever is in charge have ignored this situation. Sometimes we have to throw sun on it. These sewage odors that arise in the pedestrian pathway are added to the presence of seaweed that also generate fetid odors. This is very distressing. These odors here are permanent, and now with these algae, it is worse. It should be noted that this situation is present in several places in the central area of the island, and the community wants solution. The Islas News tries to communicate with the Secretary of Public Utilities to know what actions are being taken to mitigate the situation. But up to the closing of this broadcast, it was not possible. And now let's get to know other facts that today are making news in our brief news section of today. The Bank of the Republic opened until April 29th a call for postgraduate studies abroad aimed at professional musicians. Those selected by the entity should begin their academic training in the second half of 2022. The rules of the call are available at www.bankrepcultural.org. The Tourism Protection Group of the National Police leads the campaign in the department all against theft, which seeks to prevent this crime in all its forms. The police personnel remind residents and tourists to take care of the items in public spaces, especially before entering the sea. 
Coralina Environmental Corporation reminds the community that the green iguana close season continues in San Andres until May 21st. For this reason, hunting and commercialization of the species is prohibited. Those who violate this rule will be sanctioned.